Right. For the final time, I am Rachel Woods, and I'm still a senior Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> this poem is called Rock, Paper, Scissors. I've never been good at rock, paper, scissors. It seems that everybody always has different rules I'm never able to keep up with. Go on scissors, go on shoot, add a gun, add a bomb. No two people play it the same way. And they almost never come with an instruction manual. In the rare case I find one, it's soaked and torn, destroyed by the wind, and I'm always a page behind. Not until they throw rock do I realize I should have thrown paper. Their pattern doesn't stand out until after the game is over. Hindsight is the only language I understand. So when someone gives me a paper cut clean across my chest, I don't learn to carry scissors until they switch to tossing rocks at my self-esteem. The countdown commences debate between my health and my morality rock. Is it wrong to defend myself paper? If I win, they'll never let me live it down scissors. There's no going back now, shoot! A gun from out of nowhere I never could have prepared for, but I let them visit me in the hospital. Boom! A bum destroying my cabin of serenity, but I build it back up and invite them in for hot chocolate. I'm so sorry about this mess. I rewrite the story they shredded and grant them access to my inner monologues. I try to follow as they flip the script from best friends to enemies and back again. I grant far too many rematches long after I should quit. I get crushed under fists and harassed for things as trivial as my music tastes. Yet I am always the one crying as I beg for second chances. Let's rock, paper, scissors. Winner gets to be a murderer, loser gets to be a victim, a crumbling skeleton, breaking down, broken down, accepting the beat down, the war on a two inch battleground. Stab me in the gut with your scissors as I leave you with an apology note for being too easy to beat. You always have to one up me by crushing and crumpling my dreams like last year's newspaper. Heck, even that's more relevant to you than I am. Cut the last attachments I have to my sanity, then convince me I am overreacting. Shoot me in the foot and complain I'm walking too slowly, and I'll listen because I'll believe you're doing this to help me, as if killing my spirit will make somebody love me. Your insults are the funeral march you won't bother to give me. The bruises from being thrown into your computer desk are the flowers you refuse to lay. I understand you leaving me to die alone. My corpse is just a burden, and I wasn't even a worthy competitor. Take your stones and use them to knock down another instead of crafting me a tombstone, and don't bother writing an obituary. Why waste your energy on a victim you never cared about? I was the loser, after all. <laughs>